is City Light Kids TV. good to have you all here with us today. You know something that we haven't done in a little while? We haven't shaken our sillies out. Oh no. Now, I don't know about you, but because it's been such a long time, I am full of sillies and I've got to shake them all out. All right, I'm going to count down from 10 and it's your chance to shake out every last silly that you've got. Are you ready? Let's count down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, feels better. I don't know, I think maybe some of you haven't quite got all your sillies out. Are there still, are there still a few sillies out there? All right, quick, shake them out. I've got a few sillies in my pinky finger. Oh, I'm gonna shake them out. Okay, how about you? Have you got them all out? Are they all gone? All right, if your sillies are all gone, pop your hands on your head, pop your hands on your shoulders, pop your hands on your nose, and pop your hands in your lap. Today we're going to be picking one of these animals and putting it on one of these seats and there are farm, forest, ocean and desert. Let's play rock, paper, scissors, shoot! Bible story to jump into today. But before we get there, I've got to go grab my Bible. Where did I leave it? Hi. Maybe it's over here. <laughs> Where is it? Guys, have you seen my Bible? You have seen it. Was a crocodile holding my Bible? Oh, I knew that he took it. I'm gonna go get it. No, no. I knew he was gonna take my Bible. Now there's no talking crocodile in our story today, but there is a talking donkey. Let's have a listen. God's people were finally at the edge of the promised land. They camped near the river in the plains of a land called Moab. Now, Balak, the king of Moab, saw the Israelites and he was afraid. If the Israelites moved into Moab, they would take over. So King Balak sent messengers to a man named Balaam. The messengers said, come and curse the Israelites so that I might be able to win against them. As Balaam traveled, the angel of the Lord came to stop him. Balaam could not see the angel, but his donkey could. Three times the angel stood in the way and three times the donkey stopped. First, the donkey went off the road. Then she ran into a wall and hurt Balaam's foot. Finally, she crouched down on the ground. Balaam didn't know why the donkey was stopping. He hit the donkey with a stick. So God made the donkey able to talk. 
What have I done to you that you have hit me three times? The donkey asked. You made me look like a fool, Balaam said. Then God allowed Balaam to see the angel. Balaam bowed in worship and said, I have sinned. I will go back if you want me to. The angel said, go with these men, but only say what I tell you to say. When Balaam reached Balak, the king, he said, I can only say what God tells me to say. God had blessed the Israelites, so Balaam could not curse them. Instead, Balaam blessed the Israelites three times. King Balak said, I brought you here to curse the Israelites, but you have blessed them. Go home. Before he left, Balaam gave the king a special message. He said that one day a mighty king would be born to the people of Israel. The message was a special promise. I see him, but not now. A star will come from Jacob and a scepter will come out of Israel. Then Balaam went home. Balaam could not curse God's people. God had blessed the Israelites, so Balaam blessed them too. Long after Balaam announced the coming king, Jesus was born. God sent Jesus to bless the world. Jesus rescues people from sin. Today's story was all about trusting in God. And that's what our Bible verse has been about. Now I know you've been practicing. Let's all say our Bible verse together. Trust in the Lord with all of your heart and do not rely on your own understanding. Trust, trust, trust in the Lord. Trust, trust, trust in the Lord. Has that song been stuck in your head? It's been stuck in my head. Let's hop to our feet and all sing it together. Good morning, children. My name is Adrian. What's your name? Taylor. And what's your name? Jackson and I made six. I love it. So what we're going to do is we're going to sing our little song that we've been learning for a few weeks now. Jackson, do you know what song that is? Proverbs 3-5. Three, 3-5, five. Three, five, that's right. So but what we want to do is everyone get really nice and low now. And now what we're going to do is we're going to sing it really, really quietly. We're going to whisper it. Can you do that? Yes. All right. One, two, three, four. Trust in the Lord with all of your heart and do not rely on your own understanding. Trust in the Lord with all of your heart and do not rely on your own understanding. Trust, trust, trust in the Lord. Trust, trust, trust in the Lord. Trust, trust, trust in the Lord. Proverbs 3, 5. Okay, everyone up. And my other tune guitar. Two, three, four. Trust in the Lord with all of your heart and do not rely on your own understanding. Trust in the Lord with all of your heart and do not rely on your own understanding. Trust, trust, trust in the Lord. Trust, trust, trust in the Lord. Trust, trust, trust in the Lord. Trust Proverbs 3, 4. Yeah! Yeah! Come on! Yeah! Hi, mister. Hey, what do you call me, mister? We're listening about God. What do you think about mister? Can you please stop it? No, I will never. You need to trust in the Lord. Okay? Trust in the Lord? How can that happen? Trust in the Lord? Ah, never mind. Trust in the Lord's will. Can you please be, can you please trust me? What? So the song is trust in the Lord. Ah, now I know. Trust, trust, trust in the Lord. Trust, trust, trust in the Lord. Proverbs 3, 5. <laughs> now I know it. Thanks, Tila, for remembering me. I love you, everyone. See you later. Now we're changing things up a little. There is no surprise egg this week, but there is a surprise box. I'm gonna leave it to the experts to open it up and give us some clues about what we'll learn about next week.
Instead of a surprise egg, we're going to open a surprise box to see what's next week. So, Harvey, so yeah, this Harvey's one's for Eva, this one's for Harvey, and this one's for me. So first we're going to open this blue one. Oh, wait, that's an old man, right? Let's show it out for everybody. Is it, I think it is Moses. What is this? You I think this, no, it's a pretend Moses, I think. So, and let's see, and let's see what the last thing is. Not slime. I slime like you, Sayu. Wait, what is inside the slime? I feel something. Oh, it's a crayon for writing important messages. This is Moses, the mountain and the crayon. What could it be? What's in it, Mom? I guess we'll find out next thing. And I think I know, but I don't really know. Bye. 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 Bye everybody, thank you so much for joining us for City Light Kids TV. I really miss you guys. I am so sad that I don't get to see you and give you a big hug, but I'm so glad that you're tuning in and watching and joining us on City Light Kids TV. We will see you next week. Bye. Wait, I didn't open the mouth. <laughs> <laughs>